Why do we always start summing at n equals 1? Why do we all start with a 1? Can't we start summing from another point? Well, yes, we can. The point is that we can convert our summation index such that we can start at any number we like, as long as we adjust the element of our series accordingly. How? Well, that is what you will learn in this video. Suppose we have some summation starting at n equals 1. Then I can choose a different summation index, for example, capital M equals uh, n plus 2. And uh, if I choose this new summation index m, then the m starts at 3, because n starts at 1, so m equals m plus 2, so 1 plus 2 equals 3, so m starts at 3. And uh, if n is uh, running up to infinity, then m equals n plus 2 also runs up to infinity, so upper bounds always to infinity. And then remember to adjust the elements of the sequence accordingly. So our m equals n plus 2, so n equals m minus 2, so the a n becomes the a m minus 2. So how can you do that in an example? Suppose we have to start at n equals 2, uh, and we uh, sum up to infinity of uh, 1 over n squared. Uh, how can we start, say, at uh, 0, for example? Well, if we want to start at 0 instead of at 2, we have to find a new summation index, m equals n minus 2. If n starts at 2, then m equals n minus 2 starts at 0, still runs up to infinity. And then we have to adjust the 1 over n squared accordingly. The, uh, n equals m plus 2, if you solve for n, so substitute that in your term over here, and you get your new, uh, uh, new elements of your series, and then your series starts at 0 instead of at 2. So you can always change this summation index to start at any point you like. Well, how can you use that? For example, we know from the geometric series, uh, it was written in standard form as follows summation starting from 1 up to infinity of a times r to the power n minus 1. And we know that that equals a divided by 1 minus r, if uh, the norm of r is smaller than 1. So the standard formula of the geometric series starts at 1. So what can we do now in this example over here, example 2, uh, where we start at 2 of some geometric series? Well, we can write it, we can rewrite it to the standard form. Well, first of all, we have to start at 1 instead of at 2. So our n is now st starting at 2, so I want an m starting at 1. So how can we get that? Well, we can use a new m equals n minus 1. So we will start m at 1 instead of at 2. And then we know n equals m plus 1. So everywhere where we have an n, so over there and over there, we have to substitute an m plus 1. So we get a 3 times m plus 1 minus 2 in the power of the numerator, and over here, the 2 times m plus 1 plus 3, and the power in the denominator. So, work out this power, we get 3m plus 3 minus 2 equals 3m plus 1, as a power in the numerator, and 2m plus 2 plus 3 equals 2m plus 5, as a power in the denominator. And then we are over there. Now, of course, we like to rewrite it completely in the same form, so we want to rewrite it in this form, so we want to have some a times from r to the power n minus 1. So, I'm going to do that. Well, first of all, we split it off those constants over here. So, 2 to the power 1 divided by 3 to the power 5, that's just a number. And then we are left with uh, 2 to the power 3m divided by 3 to the power 2m. So, take the constant in front over here. That's just a number, so no problems with that. And we just copy this one. And then we know that 2 to the power 3m equals 2 to the power 3 to the power m, so that equals 8 to the power m, and 3 to the power 2m equals 3 to the power 2 to the power m equals 9 to the power m. And you can simplify that to an 8 over 9 over the to the power m. Now we want to have an m minus 1 in there instead of an m. No problem, that's 8 9 to the power m minus 1 times 8 over 9. So almost there. Then we can combine all those constant factors over here. So we have a, a 16 in the numerator and 3 to the power 5 times 9, so 
uh, 16 divided by 3 to the power of 7 in the denominator, and then finally we are there. Now our geometric series is exactly in this form, and we can read off the a and the r immediately. a equals 16 divided by 3 to the power of 7, and r equals 8 over 9. A uh, norm of r smaller than 1, which means that our sum equals a divided by 1 minus r with the a and the r. So 16 divided by 3 to the power 7 over 1 over 9. So that yields 16 divided by 3 to the power 5 equals 16 divided by 243. So now we uh, found uh, the sum of our geometric series by first shifting the summation index and then rewriting the knot until we got it in the standard form. Let's do a second example. Oh, it's actually exactly the same example. But now we're going to do it a bit smarter, because we do not have to rewrite it completely in the standard form. What we need is the a, which was the first term, and r, the ratio. So all I need to do is find the ratio in the a. Well, the a is the, f uh, the first term, so we start here at n equals 2. So finding the first term is plugging in n equals 2, so we get 2 to the power of 4 divided by... Uh, um, uh, 3 to the power 7, so the, uh, so the power 4 is missing here, and uh, uh, for the r I can find it by computing a n plus 1 over a n. That's kind of messy because we have to compute a n plus 1, so plug m, m plus 1 in over here to get the numerator, and the a n is just this term over there. And simplify a bit, what we are left with is 2 to the power of 3 divided by 3 to the power of 2 equals 8 over 9. So we have our r, we have our a, and we can write down our s immediately. So if you have a geometric series, you can do two things. You can rewrite it completely into standard form. That's usually a bit too much work. What is easier is to find the first term, find the ratio, and apply the formula straight away.